The Auckland Japanese Karate Association is in the midst of preparing to choose a team to represent New Zealand at the Shoto World Cup in Bangkok on 21st and 22nd of August. And what better way to prepare than to get a real master of the art in the form of Sensei Shimizu to mould our hopefuls into world-class acts. Haley went down to see this Jedi Knight in action. So off to the Japanese Karate Association in the search of inner peace and zen, but also because I heard a master was in town, Japanese Karate champion Sensei Shimizu. Shimizu is in residence at the Auckland Dojo to impart the Shoto World Cup team nominees with his karate experience. He's a very experienced uh, teacher and karateka and I have an enormous amount of respect for him and his technique. His techniques or movements are completely, um, what's the right word, maybe out of the world. How did a legend such as Sensei Shimizu find himself down under? Because I'm a karate teacher and I was asked to come. Since I was in the presence of a master, I took the opportunity to pit myself against the best. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm actually shaking inside. <laughs> it's really scary. <laughs> it's actually kind of scarier sometimes training with white belts, to be honest, because there's a fair chance that you'll get hit in the face or kicked in the face, and but you know that with him that it will always stop. <laughs> I hope Raya Fleming is right, because I was putting my face on the line, and I don't know how to work in radio. <laughs> He's good, and thankfully very accurate. But how do our best measure up? They've been training hard this week, and if they keep this up, they may be able to become world champions. Got to get past you first, though, eh? Of <laughs> course. Hey. And me. Karate Kid right there, eh? I was impressed, because yeah. you didn't flinch. Well, I've, done, I've been to Shaolin in China and did Kung Fu. Oh, Kung Fu? Yes, for a week. So, hey, actually, if you put, you got karate, you got Kung Fu, you've got all these other forms of martial arts. If you if you then, if they went mano a mano, you know, not with the weapons or anything like that, who do mm. you reckon would win? Well, I reckon because ninjas are so cool, it would be ninjutsu. <laughs> it's, it's actually ninjutsu. Yeah. There is a ninjutsu. There's a ninjutsu. Yeah, the ninjas are pretty wicked, actually. Yeah. I'd go the same, actually. <laughs>